Uh, right now, we have seen uh, other projects that have ended or they are uh, run at the moment. But this is quite a new concept, and this is something that is uh, just about to start. So, what we have right now is just a new law, new ideas, new programs, uh, but uh, no experience. <clears throat> so, something new also for us. Uh, because uh, the new law uh, ended up the third cycle of uh, learning, so it's a PhD program, and started something which is called the schools, uh, the doctoral schools. Uh, so the education is now focused on the doctoral schools, and as you can see, we have so-called uh, law 20, which is also called uh, the Constitution for Science. <clears throat> the legal acts are in fact two. One is just national level uh, by the ministry. This is the law on higher education. And the second is only for the idea of a university, as you can see, quite new because it's uh, just established in February. So, basing on those two legal acts, we have established the new schools. And in fact, here are the changes uh, that it required, was required to make. The first is that doctoral schools uh, are not run by the faculty anymore, they are in fact run by the entire university. So the level has changed. Uh, then uh, this doctoral school may be run only by the institution of the highest level. So if you are uh, just poor in science as the institution, you cannot run anymore the doctoral schools. So it's taught to just increase the level of the PhD candidates and the doctors uh, at the end. Uh, we have a category, the highest category, which is given to, let's say, maximum 5% of all the uh, institutions in Poland in uh, different faculties. Uh, chemistry is among uh, one of them. And then uh, also, if you are B plus, you may run something which is called the environmental study, which is more closer to the previous programs that were shown by Andrzej Eisig. <coughs> what is also the change, you don't have this full-time and part-time uh, PhD studies. Everything is full-time right now. And uh, <coughs> it's free of charge for a PhD student, which means that independently whether you are a Polish citizen or not, the uh, PhD schools are free for you once you are entered. Uh, <coughs> Of course, also, uh, each participant will receive the scholarship, which is strictly defined in, in the amount. Uh, for the university, we have uh, four uh, schools. It's a uh, schools of uh, humanities, of medical and health sciences, uh, social sciences, and our school, which is called the Doctoral School of Exact and Natural Sciences, which is not really nice. Yes, this is the exact. Uh, I don't think it happens anywhere outside the Eastern Bloc of Europe. So, uh, this, is, this is the problem because we have informatics in it and mathematics, which is not a science. As you can see, there are different programs and they are not divided into the faculties, but they are divided into the programs. But each program is run by the single faculty, but you may run more than one program inside one faculty. You also may decide whether you want to have it in Polish or whether you want to have it in English. So uh, this is the, the basic of the school is built. For all these programs, we have, of course, uh, the council, and the members of the council there are a lot of people, and we decide on everything which is happening inside the programs or inside the school level. Uh, in Italy, you have people from our faculty, so as you can see, usually there are three persons for each faculty to run, uh, to run the school. Of course, there is also the director, uh, who is not a member of the council. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> because I thought that maybe you will uh, be interested in the basics, the basic law. So this is the link, uh, and I will leave this uh, presentation here, so just copy it and go into the 
uh, details here for the documents, so the link is there for that purpose. Uh, so, if you are a PhD student, you are interested in two things. First thing is whether it's something interesting that you can do, but then you have to leave. So the scholarship is very essential. So if this is essential, then it is uh, given very specifically. So it's just like the PhD student scholarship is for all doctoral students, and there are two parts of it. First two years, and the second two years, or for the case of three years study, just in the middle. Uh, so it is something which is called the midterm evaluation. I will tell about it later, but right now it is just uh, dividing the money you receive into two parts. First, as an inexperienced person, you receive something like 37 professor, 37 percent of the professor uh, uh, remuneration, which is given by a law. So the number is exact, and then you count the percentage of it and pay it for the student. Then it's 57 after this midterm, when you are more experienced researcher. Uh, <clears throat> this is the minimal scholarship, maybe supplemental, but other funds, and uh, they can also pile up. So sometimes the PhD student may give, uh, may have more money than, let's say, the, his supervisor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's demotivating, <laughs> at least for us. <laughs> Sometimes I want to be the PhD student again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now I'm So you can see this is a, a nice thing because you don't pay the taxes. And, uh, but this is the subject, the social insurance. Uh, then, uh, because then it is counted as the year uh, that you worked. Not right now, this is counted as the year that you not worked. So this is different things for the future, uh, let's say, old year remuneration that you, that you have to have. <coughs> then <coughs> there are some unsolved problems right now because we have just started it and then uh, we have the problems how to uh, you know, have the students from the grants and how this uh, scholarship is divided into the part from the grant and from the faculty. But I think that with time this will be resolved. We have just started. <coughs> Education programs at the school level is based on two things. The first is education program, and the second is individual research plan. So there are two different things the students have to decide. First, he enters, the students enter the school, and then for the school, we have to design this education program. Of course, with many uh, possibilities to choose different topics that it is inside of it. But then they have also this individual research plan, which is made at the beginning of the study, when the supervisor is already known, where, uh, let's say, the main idea of the dissertation is known. Then they decide what is the individual plan. Nobody has tried it before. So I haven't seen the single plan yet, because we have just uh, finished the exams. We will try. <coughs> Uh, there should be no less than six sem semesters, and inside our school there are six semester and eight semester programs, depending on, uh, on, the, on the program that we choose. So you can choose it, <clears throat> but if you decide to have it six semesters, you have six semesters. If you decide to do it eight semesters, it's eight semesters, and you cannot switch in between. So you have to decide at the very beginning. <clears throat> this education program proposal is already established, and we did it during last month, so it's just prepared by the head. Uh, by the way, the head of this PhD program is me. Uh, so we decided in the consultation of the scope, of course, with, let's say, not discipline council, because it has to be decided before the discipline council uh, was established. So it was just designed by us and the dean, or the director of the unit, if this is not the faculty. <coughs> Uh, then the Senate, the Senate is uh, telling that this is okay and this program may be run for uh, this school. This education program has to fulfill something which is called the eight level of Polish qualification framework. And this is the minimum requirement. So the school may decide that something is made at the higher level. And this is also the fact in our school. 
because this uh, eight level of Polish education required uh, B2 English level, we decided we want to have it C1, so one up. <clears throat> education program is managed by the head, appointed by the rector on the request of the director, which is already done. It's approved by the council, the government, and also uh, PhD students, but for the previous programs. So the, because they had to exist at the moment that we were elected. So it's a uh, previous PhD student decided whether they like the uh, new council. <clears throat> the heads of the programs, the head is actually really a powerful person. Uh, it's a lot of work, as you can see, but it's also a lot of power that is uh, inside, uh, as I say, only for one person. Of course, it depends on the person. If this head decides that they want to uh, you know, have the discussion with other people, of course, they can. But if they want to be the Julius Caesar, they can. So they decided single-handedly about many things in this program. As you can see, uh, we represent, we represent candidates for the uh, uh, supervisors, uh, we request to the director to set up for the commission for the bitter evaluation. Then we issue an opinion uh, about the PhD students, about other things. We may agree to extend the deadline for submitting the PhD studies and uh, many other things that have happened. So it is a lot of power in one person. What about the supervisor? This didn't change much. Uh, it's like what in previous programs uh, that we had the supervisor or supervisors, uh, they are applied via the head uh, by the PhD students, so they decide, of course, that uh, supervisor may agree, but it may not agree only in a very special cases. We still don't know what the real special cases would be, but in our school, in our program, we decided that if a PhD student wants to enter the program, it has to present the opinion from the future supervisor. Because, you know, as the professor, you don't want to be, you know, surprised by something that you don't know the person, you don't know who it is, uh, he appeared out of the blue, and then you are appointed as the supervisor. You don't want to have it. So you have to have this collaboration on it, at least a knowledge of this person before. And this was established that way that just if you want to enter the school, you have to have the opinion of the person who will be a, or who is planned to be a future supervisor. This is for the both sides, just to be safe. The student knows that he will have or she will have the supervisor that she or he likes and the other way around. Uh, this is this point. Uh, as you can see, the role of the supervisor may only be refused for the important reasons, and this is not the law. This is not the law of the school, this is the law which is given by the ministry. So they decided it should be like that. And then uh, supervisor, as you can see, supervises the implementation of the doctoral student's individual research plan. Uh, you can change the supervisor for the very specific reasons. Maybe we will not you know, uh, try it in the future. We don't know. Uh, this is this course of education. And uh, contrary to the, all these uh, programs that you have seen before, they were very much packed with different kinds of lectures and uh, uh, other things, we decided to have it as simple as possible. So do not have a lot of lectures because the PhD student is here mainly to do this, the research. If he enters the school or she enters the school, uh, they are supposed to do the research. Of course, we have these forms of education like the lecture, seminar, workshop, projects, whatever uh, you have. There are also ECTS points which are appointed, but they are appointed because this is the school in between different faculties and the students may change uh, in between different kinds of the uh, forms of education, but at the end we want it to be as 
uh, smoother possible. So we appoint points for them to be sure that the individual plan is fulfilled and they have, have no problem to end, uh, uh, with, the, with the tests. <coughs> this midterm evaluation, this is something very new. We haven't been uh, uh, before. We have evaluated students after each year and we plan to do it because it's safer for everybody just to make evaluation to be sure that everything is running smoothly and there is no problem. After two years, usually the students know what they are doing. Whatever they failed, they failed, failed during the first year, so they could start you know, with a change plan. Uh, so if they do it after two years, they already should be in the middle of the work. So most of the failures are before them. Uh, ahead of them. So, so they had to, uh, they know what they are doing, they can present it and they uh, already have some successes also, not all the failures. So this is this midterm evaluation. As you can see there is a committee of three people, at least one from outside of the university. Uh, the supervisor or associate supervisor, uh, which should be also appointed for, for the this, uh, PhD, uh, may not be members of the commission. So this is something which is completely out of the hands of the supervisors. Uh, <clears throat> so it is me who appoints the uh, committee. And before that, for 30, for 30 days, the students present uh, what they have done already just to be sure that everything is done the, the way it's supposed to be. So 30 days is the time that they may even change something to present it to the committee. Uh, of course, there is the presentation of this just in the front of the committee members that already know the work from the paperwork. And then uh, it may be open to the public. There was a big discussion in, between the PhD student and us uh, if this should be open or not. So in the end, we decided if they want to be open, let them be. But then if there is somebody uh, has not so much results, then what, what is the reason to make it, this, let's say, the small PhD defects? There is uh, no need for it. So if they want to be, let them. If not, it is just a closed commission, and then the commission uh, is, uh, committee sitting, is undisclosed to the students what is happening inside. The, the mark is, but the what is happening during this uh, is just in between the committee members. Uh, then this is what is happening uh, for this program. As you can see, there is not much things to do. We have mandatory activities, uh, which is just a doctoral seminar, which we think is something just in, in uh, let's say, the semester before they had this midterm evaluation. Just let them show to other people what they have done and prepare for it. We have these classes developing professional skills and uh, there are some modules, these are, these are the names of them. And then you choose three of them. So it's one semester for one uh, modules. Then it's this English course, which is C1 examination. If you are not uh, the Polish citizen, then you can switch from this one into the Polish for uh, foreigners. And if you are already the C1 uh, English holder, then you can choose other language because it's just, you know, uh, you just, just the gain of the students to have the free uh, course of any other language. Uh, there are also some optional classes, of course. This is the doctoral school seminar, which are, let's say, on, they are monthly, but you don't have to attend all of them. You just pick up six of them. Then is uh, uh, some soft skills and general knowledge. So there are selected lectures, all the courses, depending on what PhD student decided. Then we have these optional classes for professional skills, just optional, so you choose whatever you want. Uh, so it's a lot of them to, to pick up from. Then we have these uh, other classes, uh, you can go for the summer school and so on. So this is the open possibility for that. And then we have uh, something which is also obligatory for, as, uh, for 
our program. This is not for the entire school, this is for our program. We want our students to be well prepared to do the didactics. So first what they do is to you know, switch from student into the lecturer or into the teacher. Uh, and they do it without any preparation. Just to see what is the difference of being here, not there. So this is the first thing. Then you know it's really different. And then you enter the uh, workshop. On the workshop you learn how to be a good teacher because you already know that this is different than being a student. And after that you can teach. So this is our idea how the school should look like. Okay, and this is the end of my presentation. Okay, thank you very much. We have time for one short question and then we can continue discussion during coffee break. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, please. How do you consider, I mean, doctorate schools? Are they administrative, I mean, structures or professional structures? Oh, it's like everything starts from the administration. Mm -hmm. When you are past this moment, then you can think about building the science. Well, you know why I'm asking? Because it was mentioned that doctoral schools are different from field oriented schools. Not one general doctor of school for the whole university. Because yeah. if it is administrative structure, it should be more logical or motivated to be part of the common structure. No, no, this is absolute disaster. This is absolute disaster. One school for the entire university, one, you cannot do it, let's say, the law is not thinking about such idea because you can be still a PhD student, uh, let's say, a doctor, of this. No, no, Here? I know, but uh, you know, if, because in parallel we have faculties. Yes. We have faculties, that's why I think that administrative part could be managed by doctoral school and the professional scientific research part by appropriate faculty. Well, this, this, is, this is the recipe for the, uh, for the disaster. Administration and everything should be on together because then administration is no to, you know, drift their own ideas. And they don't look whether it's uh, logical, scientific, or everything. They're just administrative. So they produce as much paperwork as they can. Okay, in this case, what In this the case, relations? we do everything to reduce the paperwork to the absolute minimum. And yeah. we think it's done already. And then we can run the schools as the scientists. But in this case, it seems to me, you know, of course, I am not right, it is just my impression that more, you know, paperwork and more, I mean, bureaucracy. No, 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 no. What, this what is not are the right. relationship between doctoral schools, say, of chemistry or, I don't know, natural sciences, let's say, and appropriate faculties? So basically, the chemistry program is run by the chemistry. But then you can choose from other things that the school offers. So you have something like a, a main body is a school, yeah. and then you have also the program, which is smaller. I but see. you can pick either from only inside the, or choose something which is also okay. outside. Teaching staff, I mean professors, they belong to the faculties? No, the they, belong to, the, they, they the belong to different faculties, but they, they are appointed to the school. So they have uh, two, I mean, they belong to uh, on one hand, to their faculties, <laughs> of no, course, no. because they are to say they are involved in master program also. Okay. Not only Look at this. If this I'm teaching the there, if I'm teaching there, okay. I have uh, my teaching load. Okay. So then, if I am deciding what to do the next year as the teacher, yeah. so I just fill up. Uh, this is the course I'm doing for chemistry. This is the course I'm doing for, for the master, program, this, say, master, say, for yeah. master program. And this is something which I'm doing for school. This is all. I don't have to do anything so, else. Yeah. It is not clear. Uh, this is one very important thing. question. Maybe we will discuss it later because this structure is uh, not so well known. Uh, Nobody knows the structure. We think we heard this presentation about doctoral schools in Helsinki. So they presented us. Uh, this is a uh, so to say, uh, just um, 
What was wrong what, what with the old it? system? This Nothing. is the program. Con no, this was not our idea to change it. New government, new, new government. Uh, okay, <laughs> in this case I have nothing. <laughs> so, uh, this no. is the question. What was wrong with nothing. the whole system? Nothing. It was very much uh, which, uh, is, uh, very uh, you should, uh, you should uh, change the everything. More Okay, thank you again, our speakers.